Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I'm going to do some restoration on the image that is here on our screen. I think that it's a very interesting image. I love the expressions on their faces, and I think that it can tell a story if you want it to. Um, so the main thing that I want to do is colorize the image because I know that with all the great shadows and gradients that are happening here, I know that the colorizing is really going to do a great job on their skin tones. So the first step that needed to be taken though was it was a low resolution image. So I ran it through upscale, which is an AI image, image upscaling application. And I brought it up to a resolution more like so. Now have a look at their eyes. Here's before, here's after. So really there's no comparison, night and day difference. So with the upscaling being done, the next step is going to be to get them out of the frame that they are in here. I want to hold on to as many of the pixels as I can. We'll get rid of all this border. See if that helps. Not too bad. I wouldn't mind coming in here with the remove tool, spot healing rather, and just kind of clean that up here. Maybe that corner here. Nice. I don't think it's going to be necessary to put them against a different background just how close they are in the shot i think anything in the background would just distract from them anyway so we do want to see if we can bring some color into their world so i'm going to first try neural filters and the colorize feature that is built right into it right in our magic ai toolbox here so we'll just hit colorize and see how it turns out. Usually do get a decent result, especially on skin tones. And I think that this is another example of that. So it's done a great job, I think, on the skin tones. Very natural looking. Highlights and lighting look excellent. But it's done what I call over tinting here on the clothing. So I wouldn't mind so much if it was even looking. But look at his shirt, for example, how it's going from a cool blue to this warmer uh, off-white so it makes it look dirty here's sort of the same idea so i am going to save this but we'll save it to a new layer so that it isn't destructive to the original black and white and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the black and white version and i'm going to export it quickly as a png and i may have been down this path before for a similar project I'm going to save this as ba, 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 ba. and so we'll go ahead and save that so that we can open it up over here in palette.fm. So I'm going to quickly upload the image and what palette.fm does is it's going to provide colorization but with a whole bunch of different palette options. So the palettes, similar to, say, um, Instagram filters. They're really just filters. So we'll try a couple of them here. I'm going to go all the way to the end because I know that there are a couple that I like that I can get decent results from. We'll try the Ambient Historic and also Vintage Charm. Meanwhile, we'll go back here and have a look at the base palette outcome. So actually, that isn't bad. Um, I like how it's what it's done with the clothing. It is a little bit dirty looking, I suppose, but it's put some tinting here in the hair that I don't like. Let's try another one. Vivid Natural, not too bad. Coloring the hair and the face is great, but the clothes look dirty. Warm Glow, ah, that isn't too bad. It's a little bit warmer than what I would like in the skin tones, but at least the clothing is all equal, e even. Let's try something else here. Let's try our Vintage Charm. Ah, that looks very natural. Not quite as bright and vibrant as I would like, but we can adjust that. And that just looks very sepia, weird, kind of. So, Vintage Charm or Warm Glow or Vivid Natural. You know what? I think that I'm going to take Ambient, or rather the Vintage Charm. And let's download that. So when we open this up in Photoshop, we're going to find that 
we zoom in here, this is an even lower resolution than what we started with over here. So you may be asking yourself, why would we do that? Why would we go and colorize at the, for the sake of losing all of those pixels? But what we're going to do is this. I'm going to copy, copy the entire thing. This is our upscaled version, creating a new layer and pasting that there. I'm going to transform this and we'll bring this all the way up to the corner here and all the way down to the corner here. And you'll see now it is extremely pixelated. But what we can do is if we change the blend mode from normal to color, then what it is going to do is only color the pixels that are below and not hold on to the resolution. So if we were to do a before, after, you can see that all that it's doing is just coloring compared to if we had it on normal, where it would be uh, pixelating things. So we'll put it back to color. And then let's compare which do we prefer. This was the Palette FM version, and this was the Adobe colorizing. So Palette and Adobe. Both have their strengths and weaknesses. I think that the the strength of the Photoshop one is that the there are some the midtones and the skin tones I think are very natural looking, the rosiness of things, but there's something about this image and this version overall that I think kind of does it some justice and still holds on to that old vintage nostalgic sort of feeling. So I'm interested to know what you think of these results, so let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And with that, I will see you the next time.